welcome. We have a fantastic full body HIIT workout for you today. So we're going to focus mostly on getting that heart rate up and those legs today. Uh, so have your medium dumbbells or a heavy kettlebell ready. Also some gliders and then a stool. So it's just going to go ahead and warm up for that upper body. Go ahead and kick those arms in front and behind. Crisscross. And let's draw some big circles backwards. Oh, that feels good. And then take it forward. All right, hold that right arm across that chest, getting to that right shoulder. All right, swoop it out, switch it out, switch it out. Anyone sore from earlier in the week? Or weekend? Still <laughs> sore. All right. All right, let's take that right foot behind, go into that quad. Oh. Now let's take it to the other side. I'm going to go ahead and mute all of you. Do it all jog in place while I do that. And then we'll get that timer on and we'll just get started. So, I'm gonna mute all. Mute all. And mute the computer. All right, so jogging in place, my friends. In 10 seconds, we're gonna get started straight off into a lateral lunge with a curtsy. So that right foot's gonna stay sit to the right, and then you're gonna take it back into a curtsy. In three, two, and one. So step out to the right, step behind to the right, okay? So just some dynamic movements here. This is our first round. I skipped a typical warm up because I want you to warm up here. We're not gonna waste any time. So staying with that right leg moving, that left leg stays planted. If you haven't started your watches, go ahead and start it now. You have five more seconds on this side, and we're gonna go straight into the left side. All right, switch legs, my friends. Take that left foot. You can start with the curtsy, or you can start with that lateral lunge. Doesn't matter to me, but all I ask is that you go straight down with that knee and wide and sit back here. All right? So nice big range of motion here, so make sure you have plenty of space and can get wide and low. You're at that 10 second point, we're gonna go into some jump squats in five, three, two. All right, so stand it up right here, jump squats. So kind of try to take it a little bit wider than hip distance apart. If we're not jumping today, that's okay. You can pop up onto those toes. Perfect. Stay there. Looking good, my friends. Hopping it up, popping it up. We're gonna hold it wide in a sumo toe squat in five seconds. So stay here for three, two, hold it down, pop it up under those toes, pulse it. <laughs> My quads hurt already. <laughs> so go ahead, lift those heels high, open those knees up, tuck those hips under, chest is lifted and we're pulsing. Heck of a first round warm up, right? If you wanted to have weights, you can. I just figured it was nice to kind of just warm up that body less than 10. Sink a little lower, heels a little higher. Woo, three, two, and one. So that's your round one. That's what that's gonna look like. Curtsy lunge right, left, jump squats, and sumo toe squat. Nothing too complicated. So shake that out. We're gonna hit that all again in five. Starting with that right foot, or that right foot's gonna step out in three, two, and one. Right foot steps out, right knee bends down. Okay? If you want to add weights here, you can. You can do maybe a front raise to the side, maybe a bicep curl down here, okay? Totally up to you if you wanna add that for your push and power round. I can show you the movements without the weights. You have five seconds. All right, my friends, let's take it to the other side. Plant that right foot, step out and back. So when you hit that lateral lunge, make sure your weight's in that left heel, hips are back. Got curtsy all the way down. Again, option to grab those weights if you want a little bit more. If you got 10 seconds, then we're gonna go into that curtsy. Sink it back. Three, two, and one. Let's go jump squats right here. So nice little Hop in here or into that calf raise. If you're doing that calf raise, make sure you sink low 
and explode without the hop and drive that body up. All right, friends, you got 10 seconds here and we're gonna hold it wide on those tippy toes. Three, two, and one. Go ahead, hold it wide, sink it down, tuck those hips under, lift those heels high. Ooh, you got it. <laughs> now think about those hips. If your butt sits just stick out, roll those hips under and stay low. A little pulse. Good. Pushing in with the balls of the feet into the floor as you draw those heels up even higher. You're almost there. Three, two, and one. All right, push your arm down. If you want to grab those weights for the second set, you can. If you're feeling it, I am not feeling it today. So I'm not going to grab weights for this round because I know it's coming. Ready? Three, two, and one. Step it side. I started on the wrong side. <laughs> there we go, my friends. It doesn't matter which leg you start on, as long as you do both. Good, sink into it, step into it. Good, focus on that straight leg here, and then that big bend. Three, two, and one. Well, let's switch legs, taking that other way. Why am I so backwards? <sighs> I need my coffee to kick in. Bend down, lunge it out right there. Perfect. Definitely warmed up through those legs. Heart rate is up just enough where we can still hold the conversation. Three, two, all right, jump squats right here. Let's see. Make them big, make them powerful. If you have a weight and you want to hold it in your chest like a goblet squat, you can do that. God, my friends, good. You got 10 more seconds here, and that'll finish out this first round. Three, two, and one. Good job. So, quick break. Go straight into that next set. I've got my tens and I'm gonna grab my 20 pound kettlebell. I might use this, I might use my dumbbell. We're gonna play with it. We're gonna start with a goblet squat. So if you have a weight, you're here. Ready? Three, two, and one. Go down. I forgot to do our sumo squats, didn't I? Hopefully you guys did it instead. <laughs> so goblet squat, you're gonna hold either a kettlebell or that weight right here. Good, keep going my friends, keep going. Good. Hold that for 10 more seconds and then we're gonna do a alternating lunge with a dumbbell or kettlebell pass through. Four, three, two, and one. So step it out. You're going to pass it under, step up, pass it under. Okay, so just alternating stepping back and passing through that weight with the hand. Forces you to get down and get low as you pass that weight. There you go, my friends. Good. We're gonna do a new cardio move that I've never had you guys do. It's called a Heisman. And you do two little hops and then a knee drive. So think about that coordination. In three, two, and one. So drop that weight. You can travel or stay in place. It's gonna go one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. So side, side, knee, side, side, knee. Right, a little bit of coordination. Not too much though, we got this. Quick, knee. We're gonna grab that dumbbell for alternating kettlebell swings in three, two, and one. So grab 
You're gonna alternate. You're gonna swing it up, switch hands. Up, switch hands. So I'm switching at the bottom, but I'm taking it into that swing and just swapping hands. Again, if you have a kettlebell here, it's a good opportunity to use that. I got my 10 pound dumbbell. I'm working it. All right, rest it out, my friends. Sorry I missed those sumo toe squats. Hopefully you did them without me anyways because you caught my mistake. We're on to our second set with that goblet squat. I'm gonna see how it goes with that 20 pound kettlebell. Ready? Let's go. So squatting. So this time with your squat, the toes are not turned out, they're right in front and you're just about hips distance apart. So making sure you sink down and back into those heels. Okay, sink it down low. All right, my friends, you got 10 seconds here. I want to do that kettlebell or dumbbell pass through lunch. Awesome. All right, switch it there. So I like to pass it from my right to my left on the inside. If that feels awkward, you can try passing it inside to outside. Play with it. I'm not there in person to yell at you. <laughs> so you do what feels comfortable and is the least awkward for you. All right, you got five seconds. We're gonna work those Heismans. All right, let's do it. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three. So hop, hop, knee, hop, hop, knee. <laughs> Maybe Megan. Or Lori has done this with you. I've never done it, at least not in the workout. 10 seconds. We're gonna do those alternating swings in five. And last one. All right, grab that kettlebell or that dumbbell, alternating that swing. Good. Perfect, my friends. Excellent, switching at the bottom, sinking it low, swinging it up. If you wanna just take it to solid in the center, you can do that as well. All right, there you go, my friends. Short break, so one more set of those, then we're gonna grab our stools. All right, so let's get set up for success three. Two, all right, goblet squats right here. So holding tight to that weight right in that chest, hold it up, squat it down. Good, my friends, good. 15 seconds here. And do that kettlebell or dumbbell pass through. With that lunge in three, two, all right, swap it out right here. So again, I pass outside to inside. If you wanna pass inside to outside, that's fine too. Here's make sure you're switching legs and you're alternating as you step back and through. So make sure you're stepping back and bending the back knee. We got some Heisman's coming in five seconds. All right, drop that weight. Give me your Heisman. Let's go. <laughs> one, two, knee. One, two, knee. Quick, quick drive. Quick, quick drive. Light on the toes, driving that knee up. Less than 10. Alternate swings in three. Two, and one, here you go. So for me, it was easier to swing and alternate my 10 pound dumbbell than it was my kettlebell. So I went back to this. If I was gonna do the heavier weight, I would just do a full kettlebell swing. All right, my friends, five seconds. Last one in three. Two, and one, good job. So grabbing your stool, 
You're gonna do pistol squats, right? Lateral lunge with a high knee, and same thing, other leg. So, you can do all this on the ground. It won't, it'll just be a, a little bit less intense. So standing here, right foot's planted, you're gonna hover really low down. So, here. So that right foot's planted, that left foot tries to tap. So I have my left foot flexed, I'm trying to tap the floor with that heel while keeping my right foot flat and weight is in my right heel. Good, you got five seconds. All right, now switching it here, you're gonna take it out nice and wide and then come up high knee. So focusing on that right leg straightening at the bottom, that left leg pushing all the way up. So big, wide range of motion here, getting that level change in. Five seconds. All right, swap it out right there. So I'm just gonna flip my stool so you can still see me, but you're doing the left side, okay? So now my left foot's planted, my right heel is driving towards that floor. So stay low, my friends. Get low, get low, get low. I wish I didn't have to have royalty free music and I could play <laughs> some little John. Get low. Almost there, five seconds. Gonna go into that step out in three, two. I want to step it out wide. Step, straight leg, push and drive. Step, push and drive. I suppose if you feel coordinated, you could hold on to weights here, but I like having my arms and use them as momentum. Leg straight, push, power. Whew. Five seconds. And there it is, my friend. So there's what your round uh, three is looking like. Pistol squat, lateral lunge, right and left. I'm gonna find my sweet spot. And I'm gonna find a spot that I'm not gonna hurt myself. Three, two, and one. So sink it down. Right foot planted, left heel attempts to tap that floor. Again, if you're doing these on the floor, you can just hold on lightly to a wall and do the same motion. You just won't have as far to go, but that right quad is still gonna get fired up. All right, 10 seconds. Excellent, my friends, excellent. Three, two, now one, big step out. Knee drive. Big step out. <laughs> Knee drive. Good. Got my camera so close. Can't see me. Straight leg. Push and drive. Whew. Ten seconds. Looking good, my friends. Three. Two. And one. Let's switch legs. Pistol squat. So with these, can you get to the floor? Take that right foot, flex it, tap. See if you can get to that floor. And make sure you're looking down at that left toe and that when you squat, you can see your toes. Those hips and knees are shooting back and the weight in that heel. Five seconds. All right, my friends, let's take it wide and drive. All right, my friends, drive it. Cross that body, high knee. 10 seconds. Three, two. And one. All right, one more set of those, and then we're gonna move on to the next set. We're still gonna need our stools, but we're gonna move on to a different set of workout or sets, exercises. Coming into that pistol squat. Ready? And let's go. So right foot bends. We're tapping lightly and getting down nice and low here. Good. 
Now I got my wall close to me, so I like fall. I can't grab them. Flex that heel, drive that heel towards the ground. Push your way through that right heel. Good. Five seconds. All right, step it out. High knee. Next lateral lunge, take those hips back, knee comes back, and drive. Good. Working those legs today, my friends. 10 seconds. Last two. Last one. All right, switch sides. Taking it into that pistol squat. Left. So think about that left foot. Push that heel down. Tap. Fully extend. Good. Get as low as you can. Maybe move that foot higher. Take it in front. See how low you can go. Last one. All right, step it out right here. Lateral lunge, high knee. Good job, my friends. Keep moving. You can pick up that tempo, get that heart rate up. Just lunge it back, drive that knee. All right, my friends, you're at 10 seconds. That'll take us to our halfway point. Three, two, out one. Good job. So, next round, we're doing a Bulgarian squat. So grab your dumbbells. We're doing taps and jump, jumping squats, and then a wall sit. Okay. So Bulgarian squat. You're gonna have your toe on. You're gonna do a lateral raise for the right, and then a bicep curl for the left. Ready? Let's go. You're on. Right foot is planted. Take it back. Front raise. Good. And if for whatever reason, having your back foot elevated dumps into your back, take it straight to the floor. Okay? But that extra elevation is going to fire up the glute. Three, two. All right. Switching sides. Taking it to that left side. Every time you pulse down, give me a curl. So make sure those hips are square to the front. Fix that posture. Make sure you're not leaning forward. Stack it. You may either have to step out further or come closer to that stool. Got it. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. So we're gonna get a little tricky. We're gonna do four taps on our stool. So it's one, two, three, four, jump squat. So give me four and four. Five seconds. Going into a wall sit. All right, find somewhere comfy. If you just have to prop against your couch, prop against your couch, but sink into it. Okay, hold in that. You can march, you can hold your arms straight out. <clears throat> Whatever you want to do, the Macarena. Whatever you want to do, do the Carol Baskin dance. Three, two, and one. Good practice rounds. Sorry if that was a little awkward, but now you know the movement. So we got this. Bulgarian squats. I'm gonna keep my stool right here. Front raises if you wanna do them. All right, let's go. The right leg is on the stool. Going in for that front raise. Think about that right knee. Driving down and those arms lifting. Perfect. Good. You don't have to do weights here. You can even put them on your shoulders if you wanted to. You could even just hold them down low. Whatever feels good. Three, two, and one. Switching sides, taking that left foot behind, making sure you have 
a good distance, not too far, not too narrow, and you're trying to drive that back knee down while having that front knee stay tucked behind those tusks. So we're gonna do those toe taps and the jump squats. It's for each toe and then jump squats. Right here. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Try to hold that tempo. Ten more seconds. Find your wall. Sink it down. 30 second wall set. Go. So here's where sometimes we put our feet way out. Tuck them in. Try to get the ankles right under the knees and then sink it down a little bit. Again, you can add arms straight out. You can lower and lift. You can have your bicep curls, alternate raises. You can do an overhead press. All right, come on out of that. Two times done. Hopefully you're feeling good. Ready to hit that last set through. We're gonna need our gliders for round five and six. We'll be ditching that stool. So, ready with those squats. And you're on. So, I'm gonna just have them on my shoulders, but you're on that right side here. Driving that back knee towards the floor and that front knee stays behind those toes. And you have five seconds. All right, swap it up. Taking that left foot behind. Curl it if you can. Good. Again, make sure your stance shouldn't be little and you're here and it shouldn't be too far. You want to find your sweet spot so that those knees are staying in alignment here. We got some coordination coming up. Four toe taps, four jump squats. Three, two, and one. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Four and four. Wall sits coming up. Finish this one. All right, wall sit. Last 30 seconds here. Sink it down. I'm gonna finish out round five and six with some upper body and some core. Ooh -hoo -hoo. My legs are on fire. Bring those heels in. Sink it down. Make sure you're not cheating out here because that feels a lot different than right here. Sink a little lower. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Good job, my friends. So get yourself some space. You're going to need your um, mats. We're going to start on our back in a bridge with hamstring pulls into a marching bridge and then um, liner taps. I'm gonna have my mat here. Lay on your backs. Heels are planted. You see me? Alternating those heels. Alternate those heels. Now hold that bridge up. Hold the bridge really high and march those knees out. This is a good practice round, okay? Bridge high, bridge high. Get ready to take those gliders into those hands. Three, two, 
One, so pass the gliders into those hands. You're gonna slide and window wash side to side to the outsides of those heels. Okay, so you're crunched up and you're reaching one hand to the right heel, left hand to the left heel. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Good job, my friends. Stay in it, stay in it. You got five seconds, don't stop on me. Three, two, and one. So now flip it over, toes on the gliders. You're gonna hold an elbow plank, and you're gonna push back into the center. Okay, push it back, take it center. Zip up those abs nice and tight. You're moving because you're pushing the shoulders away and pulling back in tight with that core. Five seconds. And let that go. I think I found my sweet spot after rolling on the floor like a goofball. <laughs> so back into that bridge. We're gonna execute this round all the way through. Laying it down, bridging it up. Here we go. So hold the bridge and hamstring curl. So I like to alternate. If you're total badass, you can do both at the same time. Definitely intensifies that. I'm scared my hamstring's gonna <laughs> give me a charley horse. I'm gonna be stuck here. <laughs> so bridge it up higher, extend and extend. So you gotta keep active through the static leg, activate through the opposite hamstring as you pull. All right, now hold it and march. Good. We may have messed up a little bit on that practice round, but I'll get you back to that push power. Bridge higher. Good, my friends, good. You got 10 seconds. We'll take those gliders into the palms of those hands for those crunches in three, two. All right, now use those sliders to reach for the outside of those toes. Crunch and reach. So the higher you can lift up and get off of that upper back, the better. Fingertips are light on the gliders and you're reaching side to side. 10 seconds, my friends. Finishing it strong in three, two, and one. So flip it over, elbow plank, find those toes, and you're pushing away, okay? Good. Almost done. 10 seconds here. Last three, two, and one. Good job, my friend. So one more time through. Hopefully you're feeling it in those hamstrings. You're feeling good. We're gonna lay it back down into that bridge. Last set here. Three, two, and one. If you wanna try to do both gliders at the same time, you can. I feel like I need leverage. <laughs> or you can just hold it, single legs, hamstring curl here. Now keep those bridges high. Awesome work, my friends, less than 10. Get ready to hold the bridge and march it in three, two, and one, hold the bridge, march. Drive those knees. Every time you drive that knee, thrust that opposite hip up. So you should stay active through the bridge and not let it drop down. Stay lifted. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Ten seconds, my friends. Three, two. All right, grab those gliders. We're crunching and reaching. Same hand, same heel, right to the outside of that foot. Allow those shoulder blades to lift. If you're down here, you're not gonna get anything out of it. You have to crunch up first and then seesaw side to side. Less than 10, we'll flip it over. Hold on to it, hold on to it. Three, two, 
All right, now gliders on the toes. Find your elbow plank and push that body away. So elbow plank, use the shoulders to push away. Use that core to pull in. Almost done, my friends. Finishing it strong. Five seconds. And one. Good job. So we're going to stay down here with our gliders. We're going to do an alternating glider push-up. And then a Spider-Man leg extension, right? And then left. And a bar crawl burp. A bar, a bar crawl. <laughs> a bear crawl burpee. So you can go on those knees. Push up right here. So glider's going to go right and then left, okay? So alternating that push up here. So you're on the floor, hands are stepped into the shoulders, push up right, reach left, slide it in. Push up left, reach right, back in. There you go, my friends. Five seconds. All right, now you're gonna move that glider to the foot and you're gonna do only left side across the body, sweep. So make sure you're staying on the one leg the whole time. Across the body, sweep. So tuck, full extension. You want to feel that left foot come all the way up to that left hand. Three, two, on one. Push those gliders away. Pop up. Jumping jack. Pop back into your plank. You're gonna sink back into a bear crawl. Push up. So there's your bear crawl burpee. Okay, so when you pop it back, sink it back, land it, push up. Okay, pop it, sink it back, into your push up, into your jack. Good job. Now, you're gonna do that extension with that cross body on the opposite side. So right leg, right leg. Cross the body, up to that hand. Good, my friend, good. Almost there. Three, two, and one. Good job. So, no more surprises. We got the alternating push ups, Spider Man leg extensions, bear crawl burpee, Spider Man leg extensions. So, find that sweet spot. If you need to be on your knees, that's fine, but we are on. Let's go. Alternating push ups. Good. So, keep those hips pointed down towards the floor. Give me that push up. Good, my friends, good. 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. So now move that foot onto that glider. You technically only need one here. And you're gonna go under the body, around to the hand. So when you get there, make sure that right knee is aiming the left knee is aimed towards that right elbow. Under, out. Good, my friends. We got that bear crawl burpee coming in five. All right, let that go. Start with a jack, okay? Pop it back. Hit that bear crawl, push into that push up, pop it up, okay? Hit that bear crawl, hit that push up, pop it up, jack. Last one. All right, leg extension right here. Whatever leg you didn't do yet, do it here. Under that body, meet that hand. Got this, my friends. Pushing up and away out of that chest. Core is tight. Three, two, and one. Good job, my friends. One more time through. Just two more minutes of 
work and you're done. Hopefully you're feeling good, feeling ready for this next set. You have five seconds. Three, two, and go. So right arm bends, left arm extends, back to center. Now the opposite. Right hand extends, left hand bends, and pull it. So make sure the arm that's bending kind of comes back at an angle. Okay, you don't want it at 90. You want to have it come back and then push away. Five seconds. All right, switch it there. So using that one glider, coming into that knee tuck, extend. Knee tuck, extend. Good. So under the opposite knee and sweep. Get that oblique, squeeze that side body. Five seconds. All right, bear crawl burpee. Start with your jack, okay? Up, push it back, plank. Hit the bear crawl, push up. Pop up, jack. Hit the bear crawl, out of that plank. We're rocking to your push up. You're almost there, my friends, 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. So go ahead, last 30 seconds here, left side. Plant that hand around and underneath. Good, good, good. Keep tucking, keep tucking. Five seconds, don't drop. Down one. Awesome job. Killed it. Nice little hit, lower body, and core workout for you. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thank you.